Okay, we are recording. Today I am just going to do a little bit of a chit chatty get ready with get ready with me sort of thing. Um, I thought about doing. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping things already. See how klutzy I am. Anyway, eventually. Let's start with eyeshadow primer. Um, I actually just got rid of my last one because it was getting gross. And I actually found they sell Milani products now at Walmart. So I got the Milani eyeshadow primer that Jessica Brown always talks about. Ooh, it has... I've never used this before. This is one of like two products that I've never used before. Everything else I use all the time. I like that it has a little bit of color because I kind of have some veiny eyelids. Next, I'm using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. People have talked about it a lot. So I use the shade light. I do one pump of that. I'm a mess today. And then I actually do a little squirt of my favorite moisturizer so that I have two little dots. This is a Bobbi Brown teeny tiny little concealer in a light bisque. See that cover that big red spot just as a corrector. So I will use this around my dark circles in my eyes and also as like a concealer corrector on my face. I am a big fan of using products in multiple ways to get the most use out of them because I'm not I would never be a makeup youtuber I just I don't want to spend that much money on makeup and especially being like in dental hygiene and especially right now I'm not wearing any makeup to work so I don't wear makeup that often so if I'm gonna buy a lot or if I'm gonna buy an expensive product, then it's gonna last me, it's gonna be good quality, and I'm gonna be able to use it for multiple things to get like the most bang for my buck. Another Jessica Brown favorite, the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee, and I have hit pan on that. I also got the Maybelline Shadow in Soft Pearl, and I got that to use as a highlight. This is my other, oh, this is my favorite multiple use product because I use it all over my face. It is, I got the mini one, which I love. Um, I love that I have that option because I had never tried this before and I didn't want to spend a ton of money for the big one. So I bought the mini one and this is just the Hula Benefit bronzer. Yeah. I don't even know if there's like a shade. This is like just the old school, like everyone loves it kind of bronzer. I have one eyeshadow palette and that's the Marc Jacobs um, palette in 720 Glam Vision. And it has these like neutrally shades. This is the only eyeshadow palette that I own. So if I'm doing something fancy, this is what I'm using. And I still only use like three shades out of this. But for every day, I just go back in with my bronzer. And I just put that all over in the crease. Next, I'm going to do blush. This is MAC Blush in Peony Petal. It's, okay, 
I feel like I'm a broken record because I keep saying Jessica Braun, but Jessica Braun <laughs> recommended, oh god, what was it called? I used to have the actual blush and it was my favorite blush of all time. And this, I think, people have talked about as a dupe for that. Oh my god, I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called, but I will go back and search. Anyway, I like this because it's like a cool tone pink. Which I really like. Because to me it's not so in your face like clowny pink. It's more of a subtle natural pink on me. And I like that. Sometimes it pulls out on my nose too. Let's do the brows next. I have repurchased this over and over and over and over again. It is the e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. Yeah, taupe. They're like two dollars. And I'm almost out of this one and I have another one as a backup because I just keep rebuying them. It is the only thing that I use for my brows. I've tried other things. I just keep coming back to it. It's just the best. And it's two dollars, how can you beat that? I also am someone who I always have to be like right up in the mirror when I'm doing my brows and my mascara. So honestly, sometimes I, I've hit the mirror with my mascara on because I'm so close because I like to be right up in there and see everything. I'm just, I don't know if I'm weird like that, but I also am, so maybe I am weird because all these YouTubers I see in there and like, I can't even use this to do my makeup, like this big old mirror and this, and they're like doing their whole face and their teeny tiny little, uh, no, I'm not about that. I need a full, like, I need to see my full upper body for some reason. I just dropped something again. Found it. It was the lid. Sometimes when it's a little bit too dark, I'll just comb through it and that kind of evens it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. Again, I got the mini version because it was half the price and translucent powders last forever and I don't do my makeup very often so I got this honestly okay. I probably got that over a year ago and it's still like full completely full and I don't care I'm the only one using it and I only use a brush in it so I don't know until something goes noticeably bad with it I'm gonna keep using it side in my lighting okay so what I do like is that it's not too punchy you can kind of build it up which for a highlight for me I like because some people like whoosh like highlight everywhere no I just want I just want a little bit just a little bit I'm kind of going nuts with it today. I'm going to put on... I honestly don't even really know if I like this. 
I got it on a whim. It's just the chapstick, total hydration, moisture intent, and pink nude. It has a sweet smell to it. Oh my god, it kind of smells like the liquid amoxicillin that I used to get when I was a kid for my ear infections. That stuff is the bomb, okay? If I ever have to get medicine, can it just always be that? That'd be great. Okay, then the last thing I always do is mascara. And oh, I just got, this is my second time using this. Not ever, but like this is a brand new one. It's a L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's... I'm gonna struggle with this. I'm gonna be way up in here. Um, it's the only mascara I use. I keep going back and forth to other ones to try them, and then I just always come back to this. So I decided I'm like... I'm just gonna stop buying other ones and just buy the $8 one that I know works and I love. Don't judge me, I'm sure everyone looks really weird putting on mascara. So. This is a little pinky for my lips, but I don't hate it. Um, I do have some of this, again, I got a mini version because I ain't spending the full price when I don't know if I like it. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I feel like with the Laura Mercier powder, I don't necessarily need this and I'm not gonna repurchase it because now I would just use the Laura Mercier powder and then this Mario Badesco um, facial spray. This, I don't know why this feels like fancy to me, but it actually was a lot cheaper than I thought. This was like $8 for this bottle and it's lasted me a long time and it's only halfway gone. So. I would go for this over this and just use it in combo because this is like gonna moisturize but the Laura Mercier is gonna set but this will give this like this will give your face that like dewy look so it's not too powdery if I'm making any sense at all garage door is so loud. Alright. Also, okay. I'm gonna hold it up like this because the end is so disgusting. <laughs> it's it's bad. Um this is the elf like makeup remover pencil. Um that I will use if I have any like little mascara dotties that I need to clean up but that's pretty much everything um I feel like I have a good mix of like drugstore and high-end um and all of these products I feel like are high quality and like I don't use makeup very often and so when I do I want it to work and I want it to be trustworthy and dependable and that's what I feel like these products are for me I can go in um, if I wasn't talking to a camera and distracted, I can do this in like five, ten minutes. So, anyway, that's my little everyday makeup look. And honestly, I don't wear it every day. This is my fancy day makeup look. Because I would wear this anywhere, even to a wedding. I appreciate you guys. Abby, really. I appreciate you because right now you're my only subscriber, but someday. Someday I'll get more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.